All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. LeBron James has played 16 games this season. Obviously, he's in year 19 of his career. He's age 36, about to turn 37 later on this month. In 16 games, in eight of those 16 games, he has scored over 30 points last night. 30 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists for the Los Angeles Lakers as they picked up their second straight win, third in their last four games, and they're at 15 and 13 right now. And, you know, I, I understand the Orlando Magic, you know, they get called the Orlando Tragic right now, but regardless of, you know, Jalen Suggs being out, um, you know, Jonathan Isaac being out, Markel Fultz being out, you know, as bad as the Magic are this season, a win is a win, right? And, you know, it, same thing goes for the last game the Lakers won against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Like, you don't look at these 82 games later and you're like, you know, oh, you know, yeah, I know the Lakers won 52 games, but, you know, you remember in the middle of December when they beat the Thunder and the Magic, like, let's dock them two wins because those didn't really count. Like, no, 82 games from now, you go back, you look at the final record and you're like, all right, the Lakers won, you know, X amount of games. These are the games that clearly the Lakers, they should be winning and they need to win. The, something that they lacked in the first 24, 23 games of the season is they were, they would beat good teams or they would beat bad teams. But in between that, you never knew what you were going to get. Like they would be competitive against the Detroit like the Detroit Pistons would go neck and neck against them and then the next game they'd beat you know the Boston Celtics by a blowout so there just hasn't been any consistency with this Lakers team and so two straight wins three out of four uh, you know they're starting to get that consistency back and it's been without Anthony Davis these last two wins so you know, I know it's the, the Magic and I know it's the Thunder, but you're still without Anthony Davis. And, you know, LeBron James has had to do a lot in these last two games. And we'll talk about that a little later on in the video. But welcome back to the channel, guys. If you enjoy it, you like da daily NBA content at least two, three times a day, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As I mentioned, the Los Angeles Lakers are now 15 and 13. The good news for the Lakers is regardless of their record, they're going to be right there competitive in the playoffs. Now, obviously, it's pretty important that they get a top four seed because you, you do want to have playoff at, or home. You want to be home, right? You, you want to have that home seed in that first round of the playoffs. You know, the lower the seed, the better off you are. But, you know, the Lakers, whether or not they, they make the play in tournament like they did last season or, you know, they're the second seed, um, Either way, yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, you can nitpick a lot of it, but, um, you know, as long as the Lakers are in the playoffs when it's all said and done, they're going to be a threat. They're going to be a force. And, you know, you definitely clearly can't take them lightly as they have, you know, three starters in the, the top, NBA, top NBA 75. So LeBron James, I'm loving what I'm seeing from him. He's in year 19 and he's able to do all of this right now. I, I think what I realized yesterday, just in general, and I, I get LeBron did this against the Magic, and I get Kevin Durant did 51 points against the Detroit Pistons, who are without Jeremy Grant as well, but I think yesterday really just kind of, everything came full circle, where it's like, you know, if you hate, if whether you love or you hate LeBron James, or you love or hate Kevin Durant, we are witnessing this right now. They are still in their, you know, they're still playing at such a high level that we you know we can't take it for granted you know we, we just can't take this this stuff for granted so lebron james going 30 points um you know 10 re 10 assists 11 rebounds three blocks he had that almost you know like best blo almost ble best block i've ever seen um in the third quarter there he scored what was it what did lebron score in the third 14 points in the third or no that was in the third quarter I forget how many points exactly LeBron scored in the third, but it was, I think it was like 16 or 18, something like that. Like, we're just witnessing greatness right now. And it's so fun to see. Um, Taylor Horton Tucker last night, 19 points, six steals for him. This is what they need, man. I mean, seven of 14 from the field, three of six from downtown. 
Especially when you're missing Anthony Davis, you need everybody to step up. You saw last night that, and usually what I've been noticing, especially when Anthony Davis plays, is what I've seen is LeBron James comes out in the first quarter, puts his foot on the gas, scores like, you know, 10, 12, 14 points even, and just kind of gives his team the lead. And from there on out, he kind of tries to just maintain it. Then you, you kind of hope for like a 15-point third quarter from Russ and then like a 10-point fourth quarter from AD. And you hope just like the combination of that is, you know, good enough to beat majority of teams on majority of nights. Last night, the Lakers only scored 18 points in the first quarter. And, you know, they, they did outscore Orlando 31-27 to 27 in the second. Um but they started really slow. They were not making their shots. They were not playing good defense. And I thought that was very surprising. So you're going into halftime, going into halftime thinking, you know, LeBron's probably about to go off right now because, you know, he has really just kind of the whole game. LeBron was really just setting up his teammates, which, you know, usually happens or as of recently has been happening in like the second, third and fourth quarter. Um, and that's, you know, LeBron goes off in the first. But last night, you know, LeBron tried to set everybody up in the first half. Wasn't really working too well. Third quarter comes out. They outscored him, what, 36 to 10? Yeah, 36 to 10. LeBron James scores 15 plus points. Just drains three after three. 14 point deficit turns into a 25 point lead. LeBron James gets subbed out of the game. You're kind of thinking, like, all right, uh, you know, he can probably sit the, the rest of the game and get some much needed rest. Nope, the Magic start draining some threes. They actually outscore the Lakers, what was it, 21 to 32 in the fourth quarter. And uh, LeBron James had to come back in and, you know, make sure that lead was nice and nice and safe. But, you know, you got good, you got good production from THT last night. Russell Westbrook continues to play well i think he's playing very very well 19 points last night 50 percent from the field seven rebounds five assists two steals uh five turn i mean only five turnovers but it is russell westbrook so five you know five's not really good uh but for russell russell westbrook standards it isn't the end of the world when anthony davis comes back Hopefully this Lakers team has just strung together a couple of wins. Their confidence is going because AD this season doesn't, it doesn't seem like AD is trying to take over games offensively. Defensively, he's going to be locked down and a menace every single night, regardless of who they play, regardless of how he's doing offensively. Anthony Davis is going to give it all he's got on the defensive end. But offensively this season, it doesn't look like, well, he's still averaging 25 and 10. You know, he's not putting up like 35. He's not going for like 40. He's not trying to just completely take over this Lakers offense every single night. So hopefully when AD comes back, um, the Lakers have strung together a couple of nice wins and they can just reinsert a 25 and 10 and three player onto their starting roster. So that's it for today, guys. Drop some comments down below on the Lakers. I think things are looking good. I really do th think things are looking good as long as they can stay healthy. I don't think that their record until at least a couple more months doesn't really matter. So hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.